Now I'm hitting the wards with my ouch bleeper, because we've brought ouch and about inside the hospital. Wow. Dancers on! Oh, and I'm hitting the streets to answer your medical mysteries. In the hospital, Chris is in a ripe pickle. Oh, a question! Someone's hungry for answers. It's from Ben, who's had a leg operation. Hi, Ben. How are you? Fine. What's your question? Why do they put orange stuff on your leg for an operation? What's the diagnosis, Doc? Sounds like a case of why do they put orange stuff on your leg before an operation? I did. It's a sterilising paint, so it kills all the bacteria on your skin, and that means when they do the operation, no bacteria get in your body to cause infections. But the reason it's orange is because that tells the surgical team where has been cleaned and where hasn't. So if you're doing an operation and suddenly you notice there's a bit of skin that isn't orange, you know that bit of skin is dirty and it needs to be sterilised. Does that answer your question? Yes. There you go, Ben. Have a sticker. Thank you. I'll see you soon. Bye. I'm out and about on the street and there's someone waiting to see me. It's Rodas, who has an allergy to nuts. How does uh, EpiPen help you when you have a nut allergy? Well, nut allergies are very common. They're one of the most common allergies there are. And they can be very severe. Basically, your immune system recognises the nut as something bad and you get swelling all over your body. The swelling is very dangerous if it's happening in your mouth or in your throat because it stops you breathing. Now, the EpiPen is full of a hormone called adrenaline. When you inject it, it will tighten up your blood vessels and decrease the swelling and allow you to breathe again. So if you're carrying an EpiPen, you are safe, which is really important. Keep your EpiPen with you, all right? Back on the ward, the bleeper's bleeping. It's a question from Jamie Lee, who's just had a chest X-ray. So what's your question? Why are bones white on an X-ray? What's the diagnosis, Doc? It sounds like a case of, I want to know why bones are white on an X-ray, itis. <laughs> Make it snappy, Chris. I'm going to try and answer that. But first, I need to explain how X-rays worked in the past. We'd put a piece of film behind Jamie's chest, and the piece of film is white. And then we'd shine X-rays, which is like very powerful light, through your chest. The X-rays would pass through soft tissue, like your lungs, and hit the film, turning it black. But your bones, because your bones are made of hard stuff, a bit like rock, the bones absorb the X-rays which stops them from reaching the film so it stays white. The truth is now we take x-rays using digital film so we could actually colour them how we wanted, but doctors got used to seeing them the old way in black and white, so that's the way we've left it. Does that answer your question? Yes. Good. I think you have earned yourself an Operation Out sticker. Do you want to stick it on your chest? Thank you, Jamie. That was an excellent question. Thank you, Dr Chris. That's a pleasure. Bye. Bye. Job done for today, clinic closed.